We all love a good clean sub, but without some harmonics, drive or some other form of distortion, our subs can often sound bland and disappear on some speakers. The latest addition to ShaperBox 2 by Cable Guys, called Drive Shaper, is a fantastic plugin that will add plenty of character to our sounds. Very excited to try beefing up a bass and then destroying some drums with this cool distortion plugin. Let's check it out. The updated shaper box and new drive shaper really looks bold and professional and retains the clean and easy to understand interface that previous shaper box users will feel at home with. More importantly though, let's check out how it sounds. So I'm going to start with the bass loop on its own. It's a sub bass loop, fairly simple and clean. Let's have a play around and listen to uh, how this drive shaper affects it. The controls here are very easy to use as you can see. And we've got the different pens to help draw your uh, waves on here. I prefer to just drag and drag it around and get a bit messy. Now you can see how the drive changes based on the curves, with the line being at the top having the maximum. And this can also be set to various lengths just like in the other shapers found in Shaper Box. And one thing I do really like is the predefined waves at the bottom. You can really get some cool instant inspiration with these. Okay, I like the sound of that, so let's explore some more of uh, Drive Shaper's features. Here we can change the drive type. There's 10 different styles here, so there's lots of character and different flavours to pick from. Some of these add a lot more harmonics than others, so you know, find one that you like and that suits the production you're working on. Some of these can also be changed further with the push control found here. And don't forget if you're not hearing much of a result, check the input and output levels. Some sounds might need to have a louder input, and then you might need to compensate with the output level. When you're working with a really uh, overdriven sound, if it's really heavily distorted, you might want to use the grip setting to clean up the ambience and the noise of the uh, quieter parts of the sound you're working on. You can also use accent here to control how loud the distorted parts are. It's a great way of making them jump out a little bit more in the mix or, you know, pushing them back a bit. Finally on the bass I'm going to use this tone control and it only affects the distorted parts of the sound and it makes them darker or thinner. Now I'm switching over to some drums and this is a great way of seeing a drive shaper's envelope follower in action. This catches the dynamics and applies distortion to them. This is really good for sounds like percussions or uh, plucks various leads, anything with a, a lot of dynamics in it or a lot of accents that can be picked out. And just like Cable Guy's other shapers, you can adjust the wet and dry mix here. Uh, this is great for the drums, we can let more of the uh, dry sound come through without the processing. And we can also use the multiband here. Uh, this will just concentrate the distortion to certain areas. This is helpful for helping us keep the bass nice and clean. But you can also use this to, uh, you know, create a variety of effects and concentrate the distortion on very specific areas. And if you really want, you can add different distortion to the different bands and get really creative. And all the other features like the MIDI control, etc. are all available too. And of course, this plugin is even more fun if you have any of the other shapers. You can link these up and get really, really creative. Drive Shaper is quickly becoming my favourite of the Shaper Box 2 bundle. I often find a lot of these distortion type plugins, they can make your sounds very messy, sometimes even unfavourable. 
but somehow Cable Guys, they managed to deliver superb professional sound quality. Um, they managed to do it with their Crush Shaper plugin and all the other Shaper plugins. They really are a brilliant addition to any studio. Now hopefully I've inspired you to beef up those subs and destroy your sounds in a good way of course. Please like and subscribe below and check out the links in the description. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching. Keep on listening to all the